Welcome to Anorama Live. I'm back from vacation. My husband and I went to Florida to renew our vows. Um, last month in September uh, 12th was my 30th anniversary, so um, we plan to renew our vows on September 29th, I think it was, on a Friday. Um, we had a, a good trip there and a good trip back. We drove there and drove back. Um, I have photos that I can show you in a little while. Um, but first, I'm going to show you the mail I got. I haven't gotten mail in a long time, so this is kind of exciting. So let me fix my hair a little bit. All right, so I got mail from Llama Monster and I will put his channel name and his um, link in the description box when this live stream is over. So he sent me a bunch of stuff. So I'll go ahead and read. Hi Oddball76! It was really nice. The holiday was really great. Hi Mark K and My Lake Toys Review. So first I'm going to show you what I got in the mail and then I'll um, show you the photos from my vacation. So what I got from Llama Monster is a little note. It says, Anna, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Have a nice day. It's a smiley face from Llama Monster on the interwebs. So there's the note. And so I'm just gonna go through, not in any particular order, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a sticker and it's right there. It's the Bike Week Sturgis 91. So that's pretty cool. And got a patch. It's a uh, Daytona 96 with an eagle on it. Awesome, very cool. And I got a piece of fake money, and it looks like I got some real money too. Hi, Osman Sahin. Nice, thank you for the like. Yes, everyone, thank you for the likes. Okay, so this is a, a gold foil $100. It's not, it looks real. But I don't think it is. But it's pretty cool. And it's um, a Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, $20. This looks real to me. I, I should check on the internet to see if any of that is real. And a 20,000 denarii, I think it is. So pretty cool stuff. I, I think the foreign money is really interesting and this foil and the patch and the sticker. Thanks a lot, Llama Monster. And I will be putting their um, channel link in the description box. And the first five channels that are in my live chat will be in the description box. And always the moderators. So, hey, three crazy sisters. Yes, I had a really nice vacation. We had good weather going there. Um, we drove, actually my husband drove and it was it's like eight hours and 40 minutes without stopping so it took us longer than that for stopping for dinner and breaks and stuff and but we got there in one day we went from Tennessee to Florida and um, we had rain at the end of the vacation but the main important thing for our vow renewal there was no rain and it was really great weather it wasn't too hot too cold but I don't have my vow renewal photos yet those were taken from a professional photographer and it's gonna take a few weeks before I get those but when I get those I will definitely share them I can't wait to get them oh but I, I want to show you um, my bouquet and the boutonniere and stuff like that so I have the it's right behind me if you can see it I put it on this shelf there it's ivory color roses they're a little dry by now but I think they held up pretty well because I got them on Friday hi Shirley Smith how are you Okay, so I'm back, and let me put my mail aside. 
I don't want to drop any of it. Okay, so there's a boutonniere. It's starting to, <laughs> let me hold it together. It's starting to come apart. So it's an ivory rose boutonniere that my husband wore. Okay, I got to get better at showing things at the camera. Okay, and then here's my bouquet. I like the way they wrapped it in the ribbon and, and put in some pretty pins in it. So that's my bouquet. And we also had, let me set this down. They also gave us like a jar for the ceremony, this little jar, and we put sand in it. We both picked up sand and put sand in it, and and um, we filled it up the rest of the way after the ceremony. It's got a cork on it, so that's something nice for us to remember because we did that on the beach. Thank you, Shirley Smith, but I have to keep this uncorked for like 30 days so the sand can dry out, so I'm gonna put this to the side here and uncork that. Okay, so also I picked up a few souvenirs. I got some earrings. I've got these little starfish earrings. They came in a three pack and they came with a silver dollar earrings and um, clamshell earrings. And I got this t-shirt I'm wearing. It says St. Augustine Beach on it. Get him. Okay. Okay. St. Augustine Beach with the little turtles on it. Because we stayed in a hotel on St. Augustine Beach. And it's the first time I ever stayed in a hotel on the beach. So <laughs> that was that was kind of fun. Um, we had, like I said, we had weather, really good weather um, the day that we drove and the day of our vow renewal. Um, but <laughs> we, went, we went on a Thursday. The vow renewal is on a Friday. Saturday, it rained almost the whole day. And Sunday, too, it rained. The, a nor'easter came into Florida. And there were 40 to 50 mile an hour winds. So we didn't get to do a lot of sightseeing like we wanted to. But I still got some good pictures. So, um, And we did go see um, the St. Augustine um, Lighthouse. So let me show you the postcard. It's a St. Augustine Lighthouse pretty postcard. And we got a visitor's map too. We took a tour of it. We were going to go see the, this famous fort down there, but it was raining too hard and there was no parking. It's like it was so crowded and it was raining really hard, which is kind of funny. But it was really, it was still pretty warm, so the weather was nice and warm. So anyways, let me go ahead and get to the pictures. And I have a slideshow. I, I took so many pictures that I'm, I was trying to pick the best ones and I don't even have all of them here. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and um, show some more pictures on the shout out Friday right after the shout out. So let's go ahead and go to the pictures. I hope the pictures aren't boring. This picture is sunrise in my backyard, believe it or not. And I'm usually not up early in the morning, but we got up early in the morning to take our drive since it's a long drive and we wanted to get to St. Augustine in one day. So that was the sunrise. Here is it, um, one of the rest stops on the way. It's the Tennessee River um, Nickajack Reservoir and I'll have a better photo. I, I took that picture because so I would know, <laughs> remember what that was a picture of.
And please, everybody, try to get to know each other in the live chat if you don't know each other already. Uh, some of the big, pretty hills there. And I just couldn't believe how beautiful the um, rest stop was off of the highway and had to take a couple of pictures. Um, my husband doesn't like any pictures of him to be shown online. He's a private person, so it's basically going to be me and the scenery. And maybe some... I, I'll have to talk with them about like our vow renewal ones because um anyways he, he'll probably you'll probably get his face blurred or something i guess i don't know but um so and i just thought the highway looked so pretty um when the sun was setting and and um the clouds just look so beautiful with the sun on them so that was in georgia when we were driving down, most of our trip was Georgia. A little bit of it was um, Tennessee and um, what else? Florida. But the rest was this is Georgia also. So thank you, Oddball. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, the, the drive was pretty peaceful and really nice. Um, I did get a picture of the, uh, oh gosh. Okay, this was after um, the ceremony because ceremony was unplugged and I had a blue dress on and I'm just holding it with my, my bouquet. That's our hotel room. Um, we had a balcony on the outside. It, it was like um, facing the street, but it was kind of pretty because we could see the cars going by. That's in front of the um, St. Augustine lighthouse that's like the parking area but I just thought it was so pretty there and I asked my husband to take a picture before we went inside that's like the souvenir shop and where you go in and you got to get tickets to see the lighthouse oh sorry <laughs> that's sideways <laughs> hello pink and purple so Tara turn your head sideways <laughs> so that's the entrance to the lighthouse that's so silly. Okay, let me see if I can. Yeah, there's the lighthouse and that's sideways too. I can't change it. I'm sorry. That's the first time I used um, my uh, uh, slideshow in OBS, so please forgive me. So any of the pictures that we took, I guess, I don't know. They're going to be sideways okay pretty funny but that's me standing you have a neck ache <laughs> hopefully they're not if there's a few more more sideways I get I think I'm gonna fix it but I really don't ought to fix it right now so that was I was standing at the bottom of the staircase inside the lighthouse that is the staircase um, my husband took this picture he went up to the top I'm afraid of heights and I did not go to the top of the lighthouse so I asked him you're my photographer for the day because um, yeah this is a um, lighthouse lens that they had and um, in like the 1980s there is this um, young kid who shot that lighthouse lens and broke it and they had to try to make a new one and they couldn't replicate this completely and this is okay more sideways me <laughs> but this is from the top of the lighthouse and my husband took that well yeah those those steps those steps there was a lot of steps um in the uh in the visitor um guide I think it says how many maps, I mean, how many maps, how many uh, steps were in there. Okay, so this is kind of ridiculous with all these, um, with all those sideways pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Hey, Shirley, you're just stopping by to say hi. You have some errands to run. Nice to see you on live. You have a wonderful day, too, Shirley. And I hope everybody um, gets to know every everybody else here. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the settings here on my slideshow. Okay. And I think what I would have to do next time is to, like... Um, let's see. 
make those pictures go the right way. So there was the spiral staircase, St. Augustine Lighthouse. Okay, we're going through them again. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to move up some of these pictures. And I just had a few left. And I think I'll show the rest on the... Um, show the rest on the uh <laughs> don't you just love life okay don't you just love life <laughs> so i think that was pretty much most of the pictures um i'm gonna go back and what i'll do is um well actually i got a lot more pictures so i'll have more pictures for everybody um on my live stream but I think what I can do let's see I know what I can do I'm gonna take the light sh live the um, this the slideshow out of there and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pick out some pictures and add them because I think yeah the image okay I'm gonna go to the image and I'm going to browse and there was a cool bell and I'm going to put that there but no that's not right that's not right so let me get that out of there remove okay yeah so yeah I'm going to have to show the pictures on shout out Friday I'm sorry I thought I had that live stream um, going correctly there and I kind of blew that one <laughs> so instead of keeping the show on the sideways pictures we'll just do it right for Friday okay so today is World Animal Day and I'm gonna put that on here bumping into my microphone here so I'm gonna put that in the title World Animal Day and how could I not show Pebbles and Winston for that their next video is going to be this coming up Monday and um, not just I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet but I did order a green screen so hopefully I get it in time for next Monday if I don't that's all right I'll figure out something but okay so today is World Animal Day and the one of the channels that told me about that I'll put her description um, and her channel name and link in there later so um, so she'll get credit so I have a little stuffed animal little pug I put a little ribbon on him Winston's back there snoring I don't know if you can hear him snoring back there or not and Pebbles is just relaxing so I'm going to go ahead and pick up Pebbles first because she's easier to pick up okay so this is Pebbles hey Pebby girl how you doing She's the black pug, and she's 10 years old, and some of the nicknames I call her is Pabber Weber, and I call her Cupcake, and I also call her Spin Cycle, because she spins around in circles. Don't you, Pebby girl? She's not really sure about what I'm doing here, but she's a happy little dog, and... <laughs> Also call her Duchess or Prin Princess Pebbles. Wave hello. And she doesn't know it's World Animal Day, but she gets um, taken care of pretty good. And <laughs> yeah, you got some pe fans there, Pebby. Yes, you do. Also call her Pebby. So... <laughs> She wasn't she wasn't sleeping. She was just laying down relaxing. So it's nice that she's looking right at the camera. <laughs> she keeps yawning though. So she might need to get some sleep. So I'll go ahead and put her down. 
she jumped right down now I might have to um, show you um, hey truffle shuffle the vacation was really nice I'm sorry we talked about that oh you're on vacation cool where are you or maybe you don't have to do you don't have to say you don't have to say you don't want to get any stalkers right so hi Riley Demsa how are you today so thank you for the like number six I'll go ahead and show you um, Winston Winston you want to come here see let me see if he comes to me Winston come here come here boy come here Winston come here boy he did come over to me so that's good He's not going to want, he won't let me pick him up. So I'll go ahead and grab the camera. Oh, thank you, Ralu. Yeah, I got a haircut before I um, went on my trip. It's so much easier to take care of when it's real short. I'll go ahead and grab the camera, though, so you can see Winston. It's World Animal Day, so we might as well show Winston and Pebbles today. Winston, Winston, Pebbles, they're like, why are you calling me? Oh, cool, you got a, some winnings and a laptop, really cool. Yep, it's Sir Winston. Pebbles looks funny with the light shining on her. Looks like she's got some lit up ring all around her. Okay, see you later, Truffles. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, Jessica. They're just looking at me like, what do you want, Mom? You called me. What do you want? Okay, you have a good night, Ralu. Thank you for stopping by. So I'll go ahead and put uh, the camera back here, and I'm going to pick a picture. Oh, <laughs> first we need to show Winston stretching. He's such a cutie. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera back. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'm going to go ahead and, you know, what's a live stream without paint, right? Microsoft Paint. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my paint with webcam. That's not my, my paint screen, obviously. Okay. And I need to get my phone for the chat. And my phone is fully charged. So I'm glad about that. I don't have to have it tethered to anything. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a picture to draw today. So we'll go ahead and 
choose this. Okay, so we have that now. So how's everybody been? I have I feel like I haven't been here in a million years. But I noticed that you went over a thousand subs, um, three crazy sisters. Congratulations. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a picture. I like the sunrise over my house. And I like the St. Augustine Lighthouse too. And I like this the spiral staircase. I like so many of these pictures. I don't know which one to choose, but I think I'm going to pick the sunrise first. And then if I have time, I'll go ahead and draw some of those other um, pictures too. Okay, and I need to resize that because <laughs> it's a little too big. <laughs> what I do is I click on edit scene. <laughs> we'll get it we'll get it to the right size eventually. We're getting there. Okay, that's good. That's good. So I don't know if I Yeah, I don't know if um hmm. This screen I don't know if that looks too small. I guess not. Yeah, and I can get my readers if I need them. <laughs> so let's see, where do I start? I think I might start with the bottom right here of the grass. So I'm going to pick my brush and this size is fine. That's a, uh, what size is that? That is, oh, I think I need to redo, okay. Cause I accidentally drew something when I was looking at it. That is three pixels. And I want to start with the bottom part of the grass and a darker green. And I'm just going to choose one of these greens here. I like this one. I'm going to add it to the custom colors. Okay. And I'll just go ahead and draw that bottom part of the grass there. I want to get the different shades of the grass in there. And then I hopefully I, I drew from edge to edge so I can go ahead and fill. I'll find out here in a second. No, I didn't. <laughs> so let me make sure I get that drawn all the way down to each edge. So when I fill, it doesn't fill up the whole page. Okay, good. And then I want to get this section here. So I'm going to go ahead and go across. And I need a, a darker, like brownish green. So I need to go into my edit colors. And let's see what we have here. I don't think it's that dark. So I don't think it's that green either. So. I think this one looks pretty good, so I'll go ahead and add it to the colors. Oh, thank you, Three Crazy Sisters. Yeah, it was terrible what happened in Vegas. Please keep praying for them. So, let's go ahead and um, we got a brush here. And let's do that and then fill that in. Okay, and then I want to get this darker part here. It seems like it's going from lighter to darker to darker. So, back to my edit colors again. I kind of like this one and I'll add it and I'll go ahead and draw a line here and then this is like I say it's my interpretation of the drawing so we're not looking at perf perfection we're just looking at um, an interpretation of it you know so I don't like how 
there's like I don't know if yeah it's showing up here I don't know why I think there's brush stroke showing through here so I think I'm gonna go ahead and touch those up now while I know what each color is and I'm gonna get my brush and yep brush and a I think maybe a bigger size like this one and get the color the lighter color and just fill in with my brush the um the the uh the white part of the page that didn't get um filled in with color so go ahead and touch that up now because if I do it later I may not remember what color I used you know so go ahead and do that So I've got that and I think I might go with the lighter color here to fill that in. So I'll go ahead and pick that lighter color. It almost looks like water now. It doesn't really look like grass. But that's okay because then it kind of looks like there's a pond there. I've always wanted to put a pond in my backyard. But I don't you know, know about safety reason concerns and stuff like that. And, and um, where we live... It's um here I fill that in. I don't know if I can talk and paint at the same time. I'm trying though. I'm trying. So Yeah. Okay, it looks like I got most of it. I I know it's a little bit here, so I'll go ahead and fill that too with the green. Okay wherever I can yeah and then I might have to do this here too but um, I think what I'm gonna do next I like the way the Sun looks and I like the way the sky looks but I think I need to put in my trees next and it's kind of like this darker color here so um, but maybe just a little bit lighter so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my edit colors again and just go a little bit lighter here let me cancel do that go on that one and then go to edit colors so I can edit from this darker shade and just go up a little bit lighter maybe a little bit more okay yeah I like that and I added that to custom colors okay good and I'm not sure what kind of brush I want to use for that but um, I'm just kind of winging it because I haven't drawn this yet I'm just kind of learning as I'm going so and please everybody just please um, you know chit chat with, with each other if you want and um, I hope you all know each other and I'm just glad to be back I mean I had a fun time on vacation and I really didn't get on YouTube at all um, I might have watched a couple of videos but that's about it I tried to keep my vacation a vacation earlier this year um, back I think it was in March I took a vacation and it wasn't even people didn't even know because <laughs> I was on YouTube every day still but I, I did good this time. I didn't do anything hardly online at all. So, okay, so I'm, I'm like procrastinating because I'm not sure how I want to draw those trees. But I'm going to just go ahead. Like I say, it's my interpretation of. So, you know, I can't do it wrong if it's just my interpretation, right? So, let's just go ahead and I've got my brush. And I'm just going to just start painting trees. So, see, I don't really like that, so I'm going to redo it. And 
I know it's my interpretation of it, but I mean, I got to like it, right? So I'm going to just draw what I think the outline of the trees look like. And then just go from there, you know, because, you know, I like to use my fill bucket, too, you know. And then the um, the sky is peeking through, but I think I'm just going to make it like so. It's just going to fill you know so I'm gonna see how it looks filled in yeah that's not bad I mean that's not bad cuz you can see like tracings and stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then um, I'll just have yeah and I think this needs to come up higher up here so I'm just gonna do that and then do some tracing because I want to leave room for the sun I am looking at the chat I don't know if my chat froze up or not but I hope you guys are having a good day and um, I really appreciate that you're here, that you guys didn't forget about me. <laughs> okay, so let me fill that in too. Okay, so that's kind of like, and I think what I might do is um, fill in some more with um, my brush just to like fill that in. And see what I want to do differently you know but you know it's a work in progress so and the sun um, is peeking through there but I think the sun is going to be bigger in in here so I'm going to use a yellow and then I'll try to trace around it in some orange so let me try to start with the the yellow in the middle or I don't know that's kind of bright so let me do an orange and do kind of like the outline and I don't want my regular brush I want to try a different brush for that and see how it looks that's kind of big okay so I'm going to try this for for the outline of the sun and what kind of brush is that it's an oil brush. Never use really the oil brush very often. It's not very circular, is it? <laughs> Hi, Stork City Productions. Oh, thanks for not forgetting about me. I'm definitely going to put your channel link in the description box because I showed the pugs earlier and I know you're the one who told me about um, World Animal Day that that it's today so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I will put your channel link in the description box when this is all done I want this gosh the Sun I don't know if I can do this you know I, I you know what I can I can I need to make that bigger that's too big okay let's try this one all right I want to make it closer to the trees oh cool it kind of like the oil kind of goes through okay 
and yeah it's not a perfect perfect circle as if I can see that correctly and what kind of brush do I want to use now a crayon no I don't like that okay and what's this watercolor I'll try a watercolor brush see what that looks like nah I don't like that okay <laughs> <laughs> so kind of like this but I need to get something that's got more of a glow to it for sure <laughs> art time yeah so I don't know I'm kind of feeling a little stuck here but you know what I'm just gonna it's kind of looking more glowy when I put yeah when I um, make this thicker and I bet you if I used another color it would look more of a glow why is that not working okay oh okay I'm not used to the oil brush I usually use that first brush called brush <laughs> okay so and I need to fill the center so I'm gonna fill the center fill no I don't like that one so we're gonna go back and we're gonna pick another color for the fill it's kind of like a really pretty bright glow and gosh I don't even know if there's a color like that maybe it's just the white but I'm just going to add that to custom colors and see what that looks like filled. Yeah, I don't, it's, I don't know. That doesn't have that glow. But I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a brush and put some brush strokes in there and see if that helps. Because I want to try to get some glow. I want the glow. Who doesn't want the glow? I mean, the glow of the sun is so gorgeous, right? Yeah, I'm taking away the severity of the the line there, so that's helping a little bit. And I need to get a larger. I don't know, I'm just kind of like doing some little brush strokes around in the sun because it looked too severe or something. Hope it's not looking like an egg now. <laughs> oh, you had to choose? Well, thanks for coming over here. I didn't know Granny Monster was on live right now. I like to do the three o'clock, three to four o'clock. Um, that's what time it is here in Tennessee, three to four p.m. Um, Central Time. I want to get the. Um, it's three fifty-two now here, three fifty-two p.m. Thanks, Oddball. So who's here today from Three Crazy Sisters? I want to put in the sky now. There's such a pretty peachy color. I'm going to grab something that looks close to that color and I'm going to edit that color. That's kind of a pretty, that's a golden color, but it's not, it's kind of, let me see. I'm going to add that and see what that looks like. Oh, it's 2255 where you live. 2255, that is, what time is that? I'm usually pretty good. At, um, is, is it 10.55 p.m.? 
because I think with the 24 hour time if I subtract 12 that gives me the time that looks more yellow than peachy so I'm going to get rid of that color and I'm going to go back to my edit colors because I wanted to more of a peachy sky I really love how in digital art you can just use your back button oh yeah I like that one that's the peachy <laughs> a little overdid it there a little bit okay and I need to, I need to fix that Sun I'm not sure what to do but I need to fix that Sun because the oil painting part is kind of nice um, I think what I want to do is maybe grab another color and go um, kind of around it and see what I can do with that let's see what brushes I have here there's the oil brush again there's a marker there's a natural pencil there's a spray can there's a calligraphy brush there's yeah and it's really neat to see everybody's um the time that where they live this is really cool because I don't know about you guys because I feel like you know the time that I am right now it's like everybody's time but it's not <laughs> I don't know it's it just gives you a better perspective everybody in the world you know when you see the times for everyone okay so I'm trying to I think I need to pick a brighter color around the Sun yeah I need to do that and I need to get this golden color I think and and choose another variation of it it's not it does not the easiest to draw the Sun it really isn't it's really not easy to draw the Sun but it's fun okay let's see let's see let's see I need a bright bright color that's not bright enough I don't want it to get too um, too washed out with the white okay I'm just gonna add this and see how it looks and I'm just gonna go for it just gonna go for it okay and let's go back to the oil brush again and just put that in there and then I think I'm just gonna put um, it's you know what it's just gonna be my interpretation again so I've got orange I've got yellow I'm gonna get a golden and I'm just gonna just keep adding on to it go back to my old oil brush and just kind of just alternate between colors and just keep going with it you know whatever colors I want until I get to maybe a dot of white I'm just having fun with it I don't know I find it's kind of relaxing to paint so I get really really
focused and kind of relaxed and let's get another color here we'll just go brighter and then one more color it's even brighter than that okay this is kind of like my <laughs> multi-tone sun and I'll go with a brighter color on the outside of it <laughs> kind of a bullseye sun there <laughs> So I think I'm I'm pretty much done with this one. Um, I think I'm gonna do some swirls around it. I don't want it to be perfectly circular. And then I don't know. I think I need to stop there. Hi, Red Panda. Your name is Barb, right? So, let me fill in. Let me find this color. I like this little dropper. You just grab it. And if you don't know what color you use for something, I can grab the sky color and then go to my fill bucket and fill that in where I want to put it. Oops, I don't want to do that. yeah so I'm done with that one um so <laughs> I guess that's kind of my um I don't know what you'd call it kind of sun but um kind of looks like a bullseye to me a little bit <laughs> I thought your name was Barb so okay I'm going to just save this and I'll save it as sunrise okay and I think I'm gonna do one more I wanna draw that lighthouse so let's go ahead and open a new page and get rid of this one and remove that and let's add an image I like the lighthouse so we'll go ahead and do that and I like the I like the spiral staircase but I think I'm not ready to draw that one right now <laughs> that one is a little hard but that would probably take me a lot longer than um, what I've, I would be doing and let's see I've been on here 52 minutes so I stay on my live stream for an hour so I've got eight more minutes let's see what we can do in eight minutes for the uh, for the lighthouse okay let's see I was gonna add that image okay where is it at okay here we are okay so we're gonna open that and I'm gonna have to turn it obviously that was one of my photos that was sideways earlier sorry about that guys so and we'll go ahead and put the paint screen back and resize this and I think I can um, flip it around so let's see cuz I want to move it you know how you can move things around so let's see I want to edit that and I want to not in settings I want to
You would think it would be in position sizing. This is a reset cropping center, center, center. Move left edge, move right edge. Now I don't want it to move there. This just moves it over to the edge. <laughs> I don't want to draw a sideways lighthouse. That's not good. Let me just get rid of that. And I have the postcard. of the lighthouse. So I'm just going to look at the postcard while I, I draw the lighthouse. You know, thank you. Thank you, cre three crazy sisters. So it was Emma that was here. And then it was mom and now Bella. Oh, it's so nice that everybody was here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the lighthouse and draw it. It has a red top to it and it has like a black and white spiral paint on it. And um, it's, it's made of, I think it's made of brick. Okay, so I'll have to look in the brochure later. All right. So let's start with the top of the lighthouse and then just work our way down from there. And I'm going to start with the red and just like my regular brush. And here we go. Oh, it's Bella and Mom. Oh, it's nice to nice that you're here. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to start with the red and yeah, let's start with the top of the lighthouse. And fill in the top. And use my brush. And then fill that in. Okay, and then I need some lines for that light, and I might just like use a gray. Okay, and I don't want to make it too big. I'm kind of making it kind of big. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because, hey, this is my drawing. So it's going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> and then we'll do the bottom um, underneath the window. Okay. And there's like a lip here. And I need to save room for the. Uh, for the lighthouse itself. And there's like a railing there and stuff. I mean, I can't believe it. My husband was at the top of this. It's so tall. Oh, no problem. Thank you for being here, Abal. And I hope your hand is doing much better. I know you said it's going to take a long time, but um, I'm hoping that it's going to do better. Oh, no problem, three crazy sisters. You and you you take care, Abal. Thanks so much for moderating your moderating help and being here. Okay, so, gosh, is it almost time to go? Two more minutes. Well, I'm gonna just try to draw this really really fast. <laughs> okay, so I'll go back to the black color and brush and. Fill that in and then we're going to start drawing the swirl part. My, my um, lighthouse is going to be like a leaning tower of Pisa lighthouse I think. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so we're just going to go and then this part right here that'll be like the bottom and then that's white there so here let's fill this in <laughs> they're not connecting so that's why the whole screen filled in okay so and I need to make a line for the sky and I'm going to draw that on the side of the lighthouse so when I fill in the sky it just looks like that that is white and it's not going to be exactly how it is there so and then I'll just fill in the sky there there's a there's the lighthouse that done quickly a little bit leaning I wouldn't want to structurally this not what this one's not structurally sound so <laughs> we're got, not going to trust that one for that so I'll just save it save it as lighthouse okay so thank you everybody for stopping by today I had a lot of fun um, it's almost like I haven't been gone and I will have um, oh, yeah, lipstick on my tooth um, <laughs> I will have more photos on um, Friday and they won't be sideways and I'll have them after the shout out and I'll be seeing you guys in the comment section thanks a lot for being here everybody have a great great day bye